Hello guys and welcome to another video. This is my June wrap up. So I'm gonna be sharing with you every single book I read in June. Um, I'm gonna review them, share a little bit of my thoughts while reading them without giving any spoilers. So don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you. I do wanna say that I actually filmed this video yesterday and I did not like it, so we're trying again. So here is the little wrap up everything that I read in June along with an audiobook which I can't physically show you obviously because it's audio so we read the first trilogy or not first the original trilogy of Shatter Me Cinder and Glass If He Had Been With Me and One True Loves I have so much to say about all of these books because these books truly were like some of my favorite that I've read in a really long time and I think on top of that, I have a lot of thoughts. Um, but as you know, it's hard to share my thoughts without spoiling anything. So I'm gonna do my best and still try to get the message across of whether or not I think you should read them. So let's start off with book one. So book one is Shatter Me, which is the first book in the Shatter Me series. I believe that there's like I'm gonna say there's like five books plus novellas. I could be wrong. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. But anyways, um, the first book I absolutely adored. I'm giving the first book five stars, actually four stars, sorry. I'm so sorry, four stars. But this is why. I think as on its own, it's a four star book. It's really good. It's got a good storyline. It's almost five stars, like literally almost five stars. But I think the only reason why I wouldn't is because it feels a little slow and <laughs> I think um on its own this book is kind of slow I feel like it takes a little while to get to like I don't know it feels a little dragged out in the beginning for me but then when you read it a part of the whole series like if you then go on to you know book two and book three you end up like feeling like book one's way better because you get more because you can't understand this without this if that makes sense i hope that's getting across um but overall this one is good i think it started off really good it started off really interesting right away i mean literally guys the first line let me find it okay the first line is i've been locked up for 264 days i have nothing but a small notebook and a broken pen and the numbers in my head to keep me company one window four walls 144 square feet of space 26 letters in an alphabet I haven't spoken in 264 days of isolation. I mean, that alone grabs your attention. Like, you, you want to read it. So I do have to say that the author did an amazing job with just grabbing your attention right from the start and keeping you interested throughout. So this was a good one. You should read this. You should read the whole series. In fact, I'm still reading the series. You should read this one. So on to book two. Book two, Unravel Me. Oh gosh, guys, this book, I loved it. This one was a five-star read for sure. So good, I, it didn't even feel long. Like it's it's a pretty solid size book, I guess, but it, it did not feel long. It felt like it rushed through, but like not, okay. I hope all these words are coming across positive. It rushed through, but rushed through in like the best way possible. Like you just couldn't put it down. Um, warning this book does have some little bit of spice which was i don't like reading as you guys know i typically gear away from that so i did skip over something so if you're younger and you don't trust yourself to skim over those things i recommend just don't read this book till you're older it's okay to wait till you're older to read some things so yeah i feel like this is the perfect time to read this book as an adult it's great i loved it it is in the YA section of my Barnes & Noble, which I can't figure out why for that reason, especially in Ignite Me. There's a lot, uh, not a lot. There's, there's a scene, you know? So I feel like, it's like when you're watching a movie and you fast forward, you know? That's what you have to do when you read sometimes. So I recommend you read the first one and the second one. And then for Ignite Me, which is book three, this one was also a five stars. Not as big, I don't think, as Unravel Me. Well, about. Um, but this one was really good also. I, the way that Tahara Mafi writes, which I believe is how you say her name, is just so 
well like she doesn't spend too much time explaining stuff that you don't need to know you know some authors like take forever to explain like the color of the sky and you're just kind of like I don't care how blue it was like just get to the actual point like that's all I need I think she did a really good job of like only explaining the stuff that was necessary or things that you would want to know so overall writing style is great it's very detailed it's got a lot of action like a lot of action and the whole like superhero stuff is cool which I realized I didn't really explain so I'm gonna explain now what these three books are actually about so these three books are about Juliet Juliet is a young girl who has this super ability where she touches people and she can like hurt them she can destroy things with her touch pretty much um and her whole life has been spent and like you know not touching people and all that stuff so the first book kind of takes place with that and yeah I feel like I can't really explain any of it without spoiling and I don't want to spoil so maybe I'll just read you the back of the first one it says the moon understands what it means to be human uncertain alone cratered by imperfections no one knows why Juliet's touch is fatal, but the reestablishment has plans for her, plans to use her as a weapon. But Juliet has plans of her own. After a lifetime without freedom, she finally discovering a strength to fight back for the very first time and to find a future with the one boy she thought she'd lost forever. In the electrifying, electrifying, why was that hard to say? Electrifying first book in the Shatter Me series, Tahara Mafi presents a riveting dystopian world, a thrilling superhero story, and an unforgettable heroine. So, you kind of get the idea. And I can't read the back of the other books because it will spoil the first one. So if you're going to get this series, do not read the back of the second and the third one. Just first one, and then pick up the other ones because otherwise you might spoil like a tiny detail for yourself. So I don't recommend doing that. Anyways get you the first original trilogy of Shatter Me and I'll let you know in probably July what I thought of the other ones. Okay so the next book I read was If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan I believe. I always get scared when I pronounce authors names like I'm gonna mess up and I don't want to mess up so I always say maybe maybe that's right because I don't know. Anyways this book was wonderful this was also a five star read for me this month i had so many good books that i read and i'm so thankful for that because i feel like i started off 2023 with like just not at a good start and it took me months to read the first book and then that's not very fun so i feel like i was so glad that in june it finally picked up and i was reading good books so this one was really good i really enjoyed this book um I don't want to say everything because once again these books are like you can't you have a hard time talking about them without spoiling them let me tell you though it is sad I cried I it took me days to get over this book I was sitting there still processing and like being so sad about this book because it's so sad so if you're not in the mood to you know read something sad and get your heart a little broken don't read this because it will do this to you okay um but basically it's about a girl named autumn and a boy named finn and they grew up together a childhood besties that's a weird way to word it i don't talk like that they grew up childhood friends and then as they get into high school they just kind of grow apart they don't really like have the same group of friends he's more of like the jock the cool you know preppy kid and she's like the weird girl you know like i'm gonna wear a tiara on my head every day like which honestly made me not really like autumn that much just because i feel like she was like i don't know i i couldn't really really relate to this character as much as i would have like sometimes you like to when you read about a character i don't know but I still thought she was a cool character and I liked seeing her character development. If you're in a reading slump, possibly read it. Maybe not, it might be too slow for you just because I feel like it's kind of slow but the chapters are really short, which is really nice. 
most of these books that I've read have really short chapters, which I love because I'm just like, oh, I'm just going to read a chapter. Oh, I'll read another one. Oh, I'll read another one. And then you get through them way quicker than you thought. But it really, really starts to get good more towards the end where it's like, I'm just, you know, I can't say. Anyways, prepare for your heart to be broken and prepare for falling in love with these characters and prepare for loving it. As we know, this is just a sad book. It, you can kind of tell by the cover that this is going to be a sad one. Next, I read One True Loves, but I did it as an audiobook and it was so good. That was also a five star read for me. Um, the storyline was great. The whole idea is that, you know, she, this girl marries her high school sweetheart type of thing, you know, the boy she loves and it's so cute and they go and they travel and then he dies. Just that, like just dies. He gets into a helicopter crash right before their one year anniversary and she's left alone and you see the grieving process and it's so sad. And then suddenly, you know, she's got a fiance now moving on in life. And then this guy, her first husband calls her like, hey, I'm alive. And she's like, you're alive? Okay, uh, now I gotta choose between the two men. So great story, loved the ending, loved the whole entire thing. Rather, and it was a great audiobook too. The way it was written worked really well as an audiobook. I only did it as an audiobook though because I was um, on my road trip when I read most of these books. So I couldn't like just stop and buy the book, you know, or have it delivered to me because I'm in the car. So my library has a mobile app and I just did it that way. So I do recommend though, you can get it as an audiobook or physical, whatever you wanna do, but it does make a good audiobook just so you know. So anyways. On to the last book. I feel kind of bad for ending with this one, but this was the last book I read, <laughs> uh, Cinder and Glass. This book was not a five star. This book was definitely like a three, a two star around there. It wasn't good in my opinion. I typically really love fantasy retellings and the whole, you know, like, I own a lot of them, and I really like them. Like, the Beauty and the Beast ones, or Frozen ones, I love those books so much. They're so nice, but this one just wasn't it for me. Um, I feel like it was very slow. I know how earlier in the video I mentioned, like, stories where you have your, what color is the sky? Let me explain it for so long. Like, this one, like, why are you going to spend a whole page pretty much explaining, like, the creaking of the stairs? I don't really need to know that. It's not important. So... There's definitely some moments like that. This one put me in a reading slump, which I'm currently trying so hard to get out of because I'm reading um, The Siren by Kira Kess. So I'm over halfway through now, which is nice. We're finally getting there. This book is pulling me out of the slump because this one's really good. So I will review that one in July. Um, but yeah, this book, I think it spends too much time explaining your typical Cinderella story that everyone already knows. Like, I, I know the story. I know she has stepmom and the stepsister. is like, you don't need to re-explain it to me pretty much exactly how it was. So I didn't really enjoy that. There are some details in here that are pretty cool. I feel like if I wouldn't have been, like, after all of these books that have introduced me to, like, such awesome, like, oh my gosh, this is my type of reading, this one would have been better. Um, or even if it was me like a few years back, this book would have been amazing to me. So I think it really just depends on who you are. If you like fantasy a lot and you really like, this one's a clean book too. So if you're um, 13, 14, whatever, I do recommend this book. It was good in those areas. And it was also really like, there was some moments like the romance was sweet. I do have to admit the romance was sweet. So I'm gonna give this a three stars actually. The romance was sweet, especially towards the end of the book. Once again, this one towards the end was really good. Um, I think that's about it. It's pretty much about Cinderella or Cinderlon. I can't pronounce that name, guys. I, I don't know. Um, fantasy names are hard, okay? Uh, but yeah, it's about her. You know, the typical Cinderella story. And then she thinks that if she can marry the one of the prince, one of the princes, she can become you know, queen and escape her life, but she ends up falling in love for the other prince while trying to win over the other one. So it's this whole mess, but 
yeah, that's that. Another detail I would like to say, um, there was a, one of the stepsisters ends up kind of being interested in another girl servant, which honestly was just kind of weird to me. Like, I'm not typically a fan of reading um, two girls loving each other. I'm not typically, I'm just not a fan actually. I'm not, I don't know why I'm saying I'm not typically, I'm not. So I didn't really enjoy that part in this book and it felt kind of out of place. Like it almost felt like it was shoved into the story. Like it wasn't well developed or it wasn't even like on purpose. I don't know. It just seemed kind of weird and I don't think it was necessary. Um, so that was another element of why it brought it down so far on my scale because I don't enjoy that and two, it, it didn't make sense especially for this time period because this isn't like fantasy fantasy it's I don't know why I said fantasy in the beginning it's not really fantasy like magical and fairy godmother it's like literally in the France kingdom like it's not mythical at all I don't know I think so it, like that old time period you don't really think about that stuff back then is kind of what I'm saying so anyways that's my review on that. Now I'm going to show you my July TBR, all the books I want to read in July, and that's it. Okay, so for July, I'm currently reading The Siren, which I'm excited about. I'm almost done with it. I think I'll finish it this week. Then I'm going to read Restore Me, which is book four in the Shatter Me series. I'm excited about this one. Um, I'll probably Amazon the other ones, so I don't know if I'll, if I'll get to the other ones that I'm talking about. Sorry to interrupt, my mom needed to come in and drop something off. But yeah, so this one, and then I'm probably gonna read this one, which I'm very excited about. It's Once Upon a Broken Heart, which I've heard some good things about, so I actually might read this one right after I read The Siren. It really depends on my mood. I'm a mood reader, so I read based on what my mood is. If I'm in the mood for a fantasy, I'm gonna read fantasy. If I'm in the mood for a dystopian, I'll read a dystopian. That's kind of that. Um, and then, if I get to it, I'm not sure. This one's been on my TBR for a really long time and I just haven't gotten to it. But it's this one, As Old As Time, Beauty and the Beast retelling, which is What If Belle's Mother Cursed the Beast, which I thought was interesting. So this one's a pretty solid book, obviously. Um, so we'll see what happens. This one's on there. If not, then I'll read it in the fall. But we'll see. That's the July TBR. And thank you so much for watching this video. I love talking about books as always, and I love talking with you. So thank you for being here. Um, remember to subscribe, comment any book recommendations you have for me, or if you've read any of these books, let me know what you thought of them. I would love to hear your thoughts. So I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.